This is Jamie Boyum at Longview High School. I'm in the choir room with the choir director, Melody McMullen. And uh, I guess you've been doing this a while? Yeah, this is my 23rd year teaching. A little while. A little yeah, bit. A little while. Yeah, do uh, you go flat? No. Yeah, I didn't think so after 23 <laughs> years. That's probably not happening at all. Um, so you have some uh, crazy news. Yeah. for your choir students mm -hmm. and their parents, yes. which was recently approved by the school board, you are going to France. We are. Um, we received an invitation to uh, perform at the 80th anniversary of D-Day in Normandy, France. Mm -hmm. um, we will get to uh, stand on the beaches of Omaha. We will get to go to the two American cemeteries and lay a wreath and participate in a ceremony there. We will get to march in a parade and the first village that was liberated and then perform in their celebrations. And then we'll get to go to Paris and perform in the cathedral that was crucial to the war effort as well. And um, so we're really excited about the, the invitation and the opportunity to get to go. But you guys aren't the only people in the United States doing this, right? No, from what I understand, they're trying to get at least one performing group in every, from every state. Oh. Um, and so whether it's band or orchestra or choir, they're trying to get at least one performing group from each state. Um, I haven't heard of another performing group in Texas that received the invite. So um, we'll, we may be the only ones, I'm not sure. You could um, be. But we could be, yeah. Representing the state of Texas. Golly, that's not scary or anything. No, not at all. No pressure there. <laughs> hmm. So this, this is, uh, you know, gotta be pretty meaningful for you and for the choir. Yeah, it's meaningful for me just kind of um, I've always been a big history fan and we've always loved finding out new things about history. So I'm excited to just go stand where those men stood and be in those places to experience just the history of uh, and the awe of those places. And, um, you know, my grandfather was a veteran. Uh, my husband's grandfather was a veteran. Both my grandfathers were veterans in World War II. Um, and so I'm just kind of excited to see kind of where they were. Yeah, that's, uh, now how were you, were you selected? Is this a draw a name out of a hat thing? I or? am not sure. I just know that we got back from New York and um, performing at Carnegie Hall and a month later I had an invitation on my desk hmm. that was very, um, that was addressed very specifically to me and very specifically to the Lobo Choir and mentioned like our accolades that we have gotten over the past several years so it wasn't it wasn't a um copy and paste invite it was a we have noticed that you are have gone to carnegie hall and performed and you have gotten sweepstakes at uil concert and sight reading that you have all state choir students that you have outstanding performers at competitions and it was very very personal and um, so it wasn't just a generic invite yeah, so it's yeah. like, uh, yeah, apparently somebody's like paying attention to you guys, I guess so. uh, you know, and, and, and other performances as well, yes. I'm sure. <coughs> Excuse me. And you know, it's, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's just too bad they're not here so we could like hear them perform. Oh yeah. I mean, that's just a, oh my gosh, are, are they like always here? Is they that what are, happens? They are always here. They are always here. They are always uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. And very, very quiet. Wow. Yes. I didn't even notice them. So uh, let's go ahead and do something. Okay. What are we going to do? We're going to sing the national anthem for everybody, right? Okay, up top. One, two, three, one. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early lights what so
So, uh, what other songs are you going to be singing? Oh, I, we're not completely sure what we're going to be singing. I'm sure we'll do a patriotic mel medley of um, the different armed forces. I'm sure we'll do um, America the Beautiful. We have several fundraisers. We have a Veterans Day fundraiser that we're going to be doing where we perform um, patriotic music. And so if you are always at our website, you will find our upcoming events and upcoming fundraisers um, so that you can support us in that way. Oh, okay. Right, I'm over here. I see ya. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Snuggle behind you. So, uh, yeah, this is a great thing. Kids gotta be really excited. And, so. and, and just, uh, you know, lifetime opportunity. Yeah. Once in a lifetime opportunity. So Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. You were flat. No. <laughs> they did great. Thank you. It was you. a really good performance. Thank and you. Got a little time to do some more practice though, right? Yeah, we have a lot. Yes, we have 15 minutes. You have 15 minutes, okay. So, well, no, I'll, uh, that's more than that. We have more than that. We're good. We're good. So in 15 minutes, you're going to France? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks a lot. Appreciate Thank you for having us. So that's what's happening, you know, Longview High School. They're getting around, apparently. We'll have more later on KLTV 7 News and KLTV.com. 23 years. Yeah. Wow, man. 23 years. I couldn't do anything for 23 years. <laughs>